gut bacteria might have some value. But the bacteria residing on your mouth, they're up to no good. They cause bad breath, cavities, gum disease, heart disease. They definitely should be eliminated. Brushing, flossing and swishing with a minty flavored mouthwash is the healthy thing to do. And lots of people do it. It's estimated 30 to 45% of people living in the US and UK regularly cleanse their mouths with an antiseptic rinse. Oops! Killing the bacterial residents of your mouth may not be the healthy thing to do. They're doing good. Specifically, they're doing a little chemical wizardry that keeps your blood pressure lower, effectively protecting you from ischemic heart disease and stroke. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we explore why swishing with mouthwash will increase your blood pressure. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, the mouth bacteria are impacting your nitrogen cycle. Inorganic nitrogen comes in various forms, nitrate, nitrite, and nitrogen oxide. Plants are obsessed with getting nitrates and nitrites. This is why farmers use fertilizers. But in humans, the nitrogen of significance is nitric oxide. It's a gaseotransmitter. That just means it's a gas that talks to the cells it encounters. And its main message is to relax. When blood vessels hear this, they do exactly as instructed. They relax. This causes the blood vessels to dilate. That is, they get a little bigger. And a wider blood vessel is able to move more blood through, so blood pressure drops. The body has a few different ways to ramp up nitric oxide production. You can boost your nitric oxide by exercising, or by sun tanning, or by eating your vegetables, particularly beetroot, but not by using an antiseptic mouthwash. The mouth bacteria do it. Exactly how is still a little sketchy, but they're definitely responsible for step one in the process, which involves converting dietary nitrates into nitrites. This process happens in the salivary glands, and the bacteria are sensitive. This is what a group of researchers discovered. The researchers enlisted the help of 19 young, healthy non-smokers who were not mouthwash users. On the mornings when they were required to check into the lab, they had to skip breakfast and avoid nitrate-rich foods. At the start of the study, baseline levels of nitrates and nitrites were recorded everywhere. In addition to this, they were hooked up to a blood pressure monitoring machine for a 24-hour period and instructed to take their own blood pressure with a home monitoring kit. It was business as usual for the next week, after which they reported back to the lab and all the tests were repeated. Next, the volunteers were sent home with a giant bottle of mouthwash with instructions that to use it twice a day for a week before returning to the lab for the same battery of tests. The team discovered a week of swishing with mouthwash stopped the conversion 
of nitrate to nitrite in the mouth. The effect of this? Virtually no nitrite could be detected in the blood. And, hmm, blood pressure climbed upward. The climb was actually tiny, a couple of millimeters of mercury, but it was significant. This means it was real. Real enough to matter? You bet. It's time to stop mass exterminations. We've waged war against our gut flora for years. With the widespread use of antibiotics and soaps, the incorporation of artificial chemicals and the avoidance of fiber in our diet and the adoption of modern birthing practices. And we're paying a health price. Absent or apparent microflora have been implicated in many modern ailments, including obesity, autoimmune diseases, digestive disorders, even postmenopausal breast cancer. This research suggests our oral microbiome also needs to be taken care of. Time to ditch the mouthwash? It will help you create better body chemistry. Want more tips and strategies that will help you to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health? Visit our website at www betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or sign up for one of our free e-courses. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Keen to create more happy hearts and save a couple of million bacteria? Share this info with friends or family struggling with blood pressure problems and remember to subscribe to our channel so you get notified when a new episode of Better Body Chemistry TV is released. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.